Good morning, folks. The solar wind is relentless, driving solar storms yet again. We've got the accumulation of energy, solar storm news in academia, and a photo from deep space. But let's get started over at spaceweathernews.com. We're finding the last 24 hours on our star were incredibly calm. The X-ray flux is flatlined because no sunspots are on the disk and we've had no solar flares or other eruptions, at least not in Earth's direction. Top left, a filament did say goodbye. The other ones we've seen in past days have kept turning in, but have shrunk considerably. Solar wind here, purple, the plasma speed, keeps trying to trend downward, but the spikes back to intensity keep coming, and we are indeed back into geomagnetic storm conditions this morning. Somehow the northern coronal hole has one more lower latitude protrusion, so its stream is still streaming, and the southern opening is transequatorial and set to face Earth beginning tonight. Been getting a lot of emails questioning why such an enduring storm hadn't produced more tropical activity. Well, after Ophelia matched a record from 1893, it ramped up to major hurricane status yesterday, now headed to Europe. You might recall October 7th, we shared a number of Southern Hemisphere articles on solar storms, including this from New Zealand, describing how the man-made transmission lines had overtaken the lithospheric magnetism as the path of least resistance. And at the same time, the same team, now confirming that not only will historically troublesome regions of the country be in big trouble if a big one happens again, but others could show three times the effect of what would be expected in the same storm. This is one of the most geomagnetically vulnerable countries on Earth. I also wanted to drop this article in here. I'm aware many of our viewers take issue with planetary formation processes in the mainstream science, and I would strain to say I disagree in total. I just happen to think this is one of the best young system photos any observatory has ever taken. Two things to watch for today. ESO is making a major announcement about a deep space phenomenon never seen before. Ignore some of the crazy speculation you might be hearing online. It's the ESO, and they said it's astronomical, so that's a huge clue what they're going to be talking about. Also, folks, the first year of earthquake forecasting ended yesterday. Special video coming up later. Top quake of the year indeed went to Mexico. We've got wind maps, null school run, and shots of our star to close. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 5.35 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.